So over the years, actually, we don't see and say a lot of decisions and the way the past court where they take way not actually um, reflect the purpose for which they were they were actually um, um, appointed. So the ministry demand necessary say because that they get the potential for great problem at the university, we decide say we get consultation with um, and um, the tertiary education commission and also other bodies where they advise government. Of course, TC specifically where they advise government on higher educational matters. They advise government to the ministry for taking a decision for, 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 for actually dissolve the court. And I, for example, the court being take a decision for appoint somebody for act as um, a deputy chairman of court. I was in that court. I told them that was not correct. When you have an express provision in the Universities Act of 2021, we talk say in the absence of the chancellor, you can forget uh, the the vice chancellor and principal na in for acting instead. A decision was taken against that by the court. So when we see say then they go against that provision, we draw the attention. Hey, don't do that. This is not what the act is saying. There is an express provision we talk say in the absence of the chancellor, the vice chancellor, they come in and they went ahead. They ignored. They ignored our our advice and then they went ahead and appointed somebody else. We're not to chance. We're not to vice chancellor.